Hey there, welcome to Old Man Runner. In today's video, I'm going to review the t-shirts and singlets that I regularly run in. First, I'm gonna show a video of me running along the beach in them with some specifications listed. Then I'm gonna talk through them as briefly as I can, and then indicate a few that I particularly like. I'm making this video because I have a lot of t-shirts and another one on the way from Innovate. Sorry, Chris, I didn't make it into this video. I'll put something in the comments when it arrives. And uh, I have a lot of them. I have been trying to make this video lots of times. Lots of things have gone wrong and I've ended up with far too many t-shirts. So let's crack on. I took all the t-shirts down to my local beach, to Shelley Banks here in Dublin to uh, go for a run so you could kind of see them. Uh, I've forgotten how windy it is, which is handy because it uh, shows off the fabric, I think a bit better. But uh, yeah, next time, a sturdier tripod. Let's go for a run and see the t-shirts in action. t-shirts here on the desk so let's crack on. Um, the first one is the Say Sky uh, Combat uh, Singlet. I don't wear it very often. Um, the weather in Ireland isn't really conducive to uh, singlets all that often although I do see a guy in midwinter in them and uh, they look a bit pasty on me so unless I'm racing I rarely wear singlets and my singlet of choice for racing is the Soar Running. These ones are from this this particular one is from the Miners Club. You used to have to be a member of the Miners Club to get it um but now it's it's available on their website and um, it's 47 grams i think 1.65 ounces lightweight i ran uh, the book i marathon set my personal best in this i ran chicago in the identical one in different colors i, I love the colors of this uh 
the sore running uh, single. I love the colors of this. Get great joy running out of this one. Um, and then I ran Zurich in this blue and green one. Um, didn't quite like the design of it as much as, as the others, but uh, when it was on in the Zurich Marathon, it looked, looked pretty good. Um, I've also run a marathon in this, the Fluoro t-shirt again by so we're running it's the same kind of uh material here but obviously got sleeves i think it's 85 grams or about three ounces so my most lightweight uh, t-shirt again love this one um another sore running t-shirt here that i don't like it's got no visual pop for me uh, the material is okay but i've lots of other ones that's a lot cheaper so make expensive products um for my marathon runs uh, and a lot of my tops i think it's very well worth it but this one doesn't really do anything for me. Um, I very rarely wear it. Um, there's nothing at all wrong with it. It's just there's better value ones. Um, this I really like. It's another sore uh, running. Um, it's a half zip, which is really useful. The zip up and down is actually really useful on the days it gets hot. This is unusual in that there are two zipped pockets at the back, either side. The problem with zip pockets on a t-shirt is it's very hard to carry anything heavy in them, but that's really useful for, I've carried a mask uh, or credit cards or train travel cars where I'm running out uh, or getting a train out and running back. They're great to slip in, they're really handy. O awkward to get at. Um, I wouldn't use them for gels, but you could do, I suppose. Um, but love running this and there's a bit of visual pop with it. It's, a, it's one of my favorite uh, tops. You've probably seen me make a lot of videos wearing it. Um, this is another beautiful, uh, zipped half zipped topped top from uh sore it's got a kind of um it's got a kind of unusual material down the side you can kind of see it there uh, very nice breathable yeah I, I particularly like this and it's a range a variety of colors this one is my favorite um i've run a marathon in this top it's their utr top comes in at 96 grams very little weight penalty in, in this it's a beautiful piece of kit fully zipped down the front so uh, I was running a marathon I ran a marathon in that uh, um, a sort of self-directed one and um, beautiful to be able to open it all the way down you can't do that if you're wearing numbers obviously and it's got a funny little pocket in the back I'll open it up there's a tiny little I don't know that it's that useful but there's a tiny little pocket back here we'll take a card um, and will be inside or a key. So I suppose if you're doing ultra trail running, which is what this is for It's really handy to know the key is, is tucked inside there really safe So that's kind of the the sore ones. I've got a few from craft. I have two of the same color uh, Nice t-shirt this um, So running fits tight. They are tight uh, and uh, like post COVID and in the downturn since the last marathon, I put on a few pounds. <laughs> but uh, these these are great. This is uh, the Craft uh, SST. Again, these ones have a tiny little uh, pocket down the side. So again, zipped. You again put a key, couple of credit cards, whatever down there. Um, very comfortable uh, and an and an inexpensive T-shirt. I think this is about thirty euro or something. The very very good value. The craft craft make lots of stuff. It's available in lots of different colors. I also have it in blue. This is the other way around. Very I love this blue. It's really intense. And again, the little zip pocket, which I do happen to use. Um, this is their more high performance uh, T-shirt from from craft. Uh, I particularly like this one. Uh, again, I've made a lot of videos in it. So sort of nicely ventilated at the top. Um, yeah, this is a, a very nice t-shirt. Very stretchy, very, very stretchy. Uh, so I think as a brand, there's a lot of deals available on craft sportswear. And uh, yeah, I think their t-shirts are pretty good, particularly particularly that one. Um, I also buy a lot of underarm t-shirts. Um, this one, uh, this one, um, I, I don't like hugely, but it's it's a light green, it's fine. It's got a curious ridge down the back there. Um, I kind of run in it. Again, a lot of Under Armour stuff, you can get them in discount stores, you can get them in outlets. The prices change all over the place. So I put all the prices down in the description, but they're typically the ones I've paid for them, but they vary all over the place. Um, <clears throat> I like this uh, Under Armour t-shirt. Uh, I love the blue, there's two shades of blue. This is the Under Armour Rush tee. Um, I'm never quite sure exactly the difference between all their various brands, but the Rush tee. But this one, I yeah, I'm a fan of that one. Uh, this one uh, in the pink. Funny enough, on the video of me running in it, it doesn't come out across as pink as this for whatever reason. I didn't color grade or do anything. But uh, 
This is uh, bright pink. I'm very fond of it. Another rush tee, uh, very stretchy, very comfortable. Um, that'd be very comfortable. One I'm not a great fan of. Uh, I just don't really like the color of this. It's uh, Under Armour's ISO Chill. It's got sort of more venting at the back. So you can see there's two lines down there, different panel. Um, I'm not a great believer in the idea that somehow this is a, a gonna be much better in cold or in warm weather than, than that because of some tiny change in the fabric. But it's, not, it's, it's a very comfortable t-shirt to wear. This is by Gore. Um, I had this a few years, it was a present, so I don't know how much it cost, but it's very comfortable, very stretchy. And uh, Gore tends to run tight, just like the, just like Sore. And uh, I love the, there's a great visual pop off this. The, the color of this is, is great. And then the Say Sky uh, t-shirt. Again, these are, this is very light. I think this might come in at 89 grams, my second lightest t-shirt by, by a gram. Um, very nice, these are available in a lot of colors. Um, it's a slightly uh, ridged feel to the fabric, but uh, yeah, I like this one. I've made quite a few videos in this, I like going running in that. Um, a t-shirt I thought I'd like more than I do, uh, the on running uh, t-shirt. Um, it's, it's, it's beautifully made, but it's tight around the neck. There's no stretch. It doesn't cause a problem. It just doesn't seem as nice popping it on. Um, it has a sort of different colored back. I think this is available in three or four colors. Nearly all have the same colored back. Uh, very nicely made, nice to wear. Looks good actually on, on, on videos when I'm running around in it, but it's not my first choice of t-shirts. And then this t-shirt, which I absolutely love, it's by Tracksmith. It's, uh, I, I usually don't wear t-shirts with logos or things written on them. I mean, I have a variety of them, including this. I'm wearing this because all the other t-shirts <laughs> are on the desk. Um, but I do love this. It's beautifully made by Tracksmith. Uh, it's the Chicago Marathon t-shirt. Um, I bought it because I did run the marathon. I think I've got socks, the Chicago Marathon socks. I've definitely got a hat. And I'll probably end up with a pair of shorts. But as if you watch this channel regularly, you'll know I'm fussy about shorts. Um, but this feels beautiful. It's beautiful to wear. Um, and uh, I, I tried to have a look on the website today to see if it's available. I, it, this is probably my most recent t-shirt. But I didn't see it available. But the same... Um, materials would be available beautifully made shirts and uh, not not madly expensive not inexpensive I think it was 68 euro or something like that and uh, it's the I've only bought one purchase off Tracksmith and I had to send some back because I just didn't need them or something and their returns policy was just fantastic best of any of these companies fantastic so I'll be buying more Tracksmith stuff if I was to pick a couple of favorites it would be uh, I love the color, I love the texture, I love the feel of this, and it's not expensive shirt. And uh, the one other ones I couldn't, I wouldn't like to live without. Uh, certainly this sore running, the, the zip one up the front, uh, the UTR one, available in lots of colors, is really superb. And then, uh, yeah, <laughs> this. If I'm gonna go for a singlet, if I only had to wear one or pick one, it's this. I absolutely love the colors. As I said, there's another Innovate one coming, and. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I go in for a variety of these. One or two of these will have been out of stock or superseded, but you may have particular favorites and just like the shorts, suggest some and I'll, I'll have a go. Um, yeah, these <laughs> probably have too many, but I do like running in them. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, it would be great if you hit the like button. As always, there'll be lots of stuff down in the descriptions below and I'll happily answer any questions that you put into the comments. There'll be a big blue subscribe button popping up there and so any videos there. Thanks for watching. Until the next video, just keep running along.